Bollywood boot like an uh. Bollywood boot like an uh. Give me the boot Bollywood the boot like an uh. Give me the boot and I'll give it my tongue like an Give me the boot Give me the boot like an Give me the boot and I'll give it my tongue like an Give me the boot Bollywood boot like an Bollywood boot like an Give it my tongue come here Ranveer Yeah That's our official theme song now. <laughs> we should make a new intro. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> Welcome to a Bollywood bootlicking with the Bearded Bastard. We'll just change the name of the channel. <laughs> the Bollywood Bootlickers. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions of Corbin. I am Rick. And uh, it's it's just a fact we've never liked any other Indian film besides Bollywood. True. And we've liked every single Bollywood film. And the only reason we pay attention to the other regions is to make it appear as if we care. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a fact. Yeah. Uh, speaking of other regions, today we got an RRR thing. Uh, <laughs> speaking of RRR, we hated RRR. Our friends Mickey and Joanna. Today is Joanna's birthday. Happy birthday, Joanna! I don't know who the fuck Mickey and Joanna? I are. know, and, and you I should. Them. But anyway, they <laughs> they said uh, it's really funny. I thought they were going to say a different movie because we had recommended for them. They've never watched an Indian movie, so we recommended the Lunchbox. Mm. But today they said we watched. We thought of you guys last night. We watched a movie. Uh, have you seen it? It's called. Is it? Is it R R R or is it just R? I said it's R R R. And it's Arr. she said, "I'm assuming you've seen it." I said, "Oh yes." I bet they saw it on. Uh, of in Hindi, course though. they did, and I yeah. talked about that and said how the director hates it. So do we? But they, they like. It. Yeah, of course they did. How can you not? It's great. It's a great it's movie. A great, great movie. Uh, anyways, this is you've seen honest trailers, right? I have. They did an honest review of R oh, R. It just came out today. Awesome. This is apparently their first Indian film they've ever done an honest review of. Good. Uh, obviously, it's sweeping. R -R -R it's is, sweeping America right now. It's uh, sweeping R -R -R. the world. Is R R R? What'd you forget, uh, honey? Oh no! Did you forget your? I know what you forgot. Tampons. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> any good for nosebleeds, by the way. Oh, your phone. Oh, I'm sorry. It's, it actually is. It is. They in professional sports, they'll actually they've, like it's in the first I aid mean, kits. Their 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 point is to soak up blood. So, yeah, I mean wherever like blood is the eating. the kit for like boxing cut guys that help boxers, they have tampons in there. Anyways, um, so this is uh, the honest trailer for okay, great. R R R. Wonderful. Um, I love these honest trailers. They're very funny. If you haven't, I'm sure everybody they've been around for a long time. Whatever happened to bad lip reading? I think they're still around. Oh my goodness, I haven't heard, seen any, anything from them in so long. I love bad lip reading. Yeah, they yeah. should do. A, they should do an R R R one. Here we go. See this give. <laughs> and um okay, look, I'm American and I've never seen a full Indian film in my entire life. But that all has to change now that I've witnessed R R R Facts. Yeah! Facts. Scrap the f in. Director SS Rajamuli's epic historical action musical that proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that American movies would be ten times better if Vin Diesel and The Rock could do this. Yeah! Heck yeah! I don't think so. Instead of using VFX to cut down on costs, they use it to make their stars do the impossible. Heck yes. Back in so much animal mayhem. <laughs> they had to put freaking oxen in the disclaimer. He <laughs> <laughs> brought a zoo. <laughs> Follow the story of two real historical figures. Though I'm pretty sure they never did this. <laughs> no, they did. No, they definitely did. Raju is a Delhi police officer who's always hot. <laughs> Bean is a jungle warrior who's always wet. His <laughs> fate makes them all hot and wet together. <laughs> Their so powerful, it transcends words. <laughs> As these two brothers in arms speak the universal language of beatdowns. <laughs> I want to see it again now. 
dance battles. And casual horse versus motorcycle beach racing. <laughs> that is something they do in a now we're friends montage. It's not even part of the plot. Just beautiful stuff, man. Yep. Delve into a history and culture you probably have zero non-racist references for. <laughs> if you've seen Michael Bay movies to wonder, am I watching propaganda right now? <laughs> whatever they're selling to Indians, one message is clear to the entire world. Seriously, f*** the British. <laughs> yeah! It's range from evil. <laughs> to demonic. I want to see his neck drawn out tight. And his eyes bulge and pop just before his neck snaps. To holy sh! That woman carries a spiked whip between her legs. Someone's torturing. Quite vicious. <laughs> it got her off. So negative. It got an actual Englishman to pin a rebuttal of mild annoyance. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Settle in for a three-hour runtime, so there's room for action, dancing, singing, comedy, politics, and romance. Not between the leads, <laughs> but yeah, there's definitely some tension there. <laughs> like the romance between Raju and Sita, a girl who waited four years for her man to pick up something from the store. <laughs> <laughs> and the romance between Beam and Jenny, a story of how true love overcomes all, even not knowing a single word the other person says. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't understand what you're saying. Sorry? Oh, I wish I knew what you were saying. I'm sorry. Jenny. Aw, <laughs> I'm rooting for these two. I care about the in-laws. <laughs> So strap in for the year's most eye-popping, crowd-pleasing spectacle that brings a joy to action filmmaking not seen since Stephen Chow or James Cameron that will have even the most jaded Hollywood moviegoer dancing in the aisles and rushing to catch up on at least 50 years of Tolly and Bollywood films. Yes! What they've missed. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Happy Diwali, folks. <laughs> I like it here. You are gonna like it here. Sorry. Raj against the machine. <laughs> can melt steel be the village people. <laughs> <laughs> also from the last crusade, I did not see that coming. And summoning all your strength like a dang DBZ character. <laughs> yes. Absolutely, that should be BFF. Yeah. Can we import this movie stunt coordinator to fix superhero flicks over here? And not just because he's great, because his name is King Solomon. <laughs> That was great. That was a 10 out of 10. That was great. Oh, I Fantastic. loved it. Fantastic. I've always said... I want to show that to the kids. I've always said that, because um, like it's stuff like this, bad lip reading, and then there's another one called Pitch Meeting. I don't know if you've ever seen I've it. I've never seen that. They, a, It's on Screen Rant, I think. Okay. And it's this guy that takes films, and he tries to mm. explain the plot, but in a, a really funny way. Like a pitch meeting. Yes. I have seen one. Uh, it's very funny. I've always said, obviously, it's an untapped market if they would watch Indian films. Oh, my stars. Uh, to do, like, this or the the pitch meetings for Indian films. Yeah. Because the, <laughs> some of the, obviously, as we know, some of the plots are just insane. Hey, hey take it Ega. From, Do Ega. Do Ega. Take it from us. Your life will change if you start oh, yeah. watching Indian movies. Oh, that was good, though. That was fantastic. I, I still love that the fact that RR is getting so much love here. Me too. And, and it's, it's yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Absolutely hilarious. That I saw nothing but praise for RR. Then it, once Americans started, or people in the West started appreciating it, they're like, "It's really not that great, guys." <laughs> Just accept it. It's a good film. It's it's, <laughs> and it's continuing to be watched and talked about. The Academy can't ignore it. It'll be interesting to see what they the do. The Academy cannot ignore it. It'll be so interesting. Yeah. Because obviously, it's well, as we've said, it's not like an artsy film that normally wins, right? And you know, Mar Marvel right, films right, never win. Right. Or even really get nominated. Yeah. But the fact that I think I know that the Oscars also wants to present a world, more of a world award. You bet. They could be like, everybody loves this film. Let's put it in Best Picture. 
Because I, I have zero clue what the hell India is going to do with their submissions. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't. Enemy. Tr- I don't trust their. Uh, I know the, the, their process. I agree, <laughs> and, I, and we, you know, we still we're only and we've got the rest of the real awards season to kick in, but this made me want to watch it again. This is we said it before. This is one of my favorite movies of all time. Well, every every one of them in my film group uh, has now also been like highly recommending it to all of their friends to go watch this film they're like i i, I can't recommend this film enough to everyone everybody loves it um and how it can just, you not it just once again just really how can you not they don't have the original telugu language yeah i know and my Netflix. our friends mickey and joanna absolutely agreed yeah when we told them and she does dubbing work she's she's an actress and she does dubbing work for other countries that need to have the english dubbing done yeah. and she she was like yeah it was it, it just it ought make, to be in the original language the fact that i mean i'm sure they know that obviously the world already thinks that all of india is bollywood and so, all of the world and that all of india speaks hindi yeah and so <laughs> just feeding into that stereotype yeah. that oh this film's big it's bollywood it's not right it's bollywood and everybody speaks hindi yeah. it's not you've totally taken away the deserved glory for the Telugu industry. of the Telugu industry and the Telugu language and, and the Telugu Raja people Muli, and S.S. Raja Muli and the creator who specifically said, you suck. Yeah. And, and you do. And you do. Yeah, you I'm do. I'm so mad about it. I am too. But this was absolutely That was hilarious. Netflix caring more about themselves than they were the Telugu industry. Yeah. 100%. Um, yeah, that was funny. I enjoyed that. That was really good. I still have, I'm I, showing that to Ashley. I, 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 need, I need to show... And sh- Mickey and Joanna will appreciate it. I, s- I need to show... Because Steph hasn't seen RR yet. Oh, she uh, hasn't. I, I just don't have time to re- of course, yeah, rewatch really anything. Understandable. Um, but I've recommended it like to my my dad and my, all my parents, my brothers, um, to to watch. And so my my brother, younger brother, comes in tomorrow, and so maybe I'll watch it with both of them. Cool. Because they'll, I think they'll enjoy it. F- yeah, I don't know how anybody would not like that movie. Yeah, it's so good. Anyways. Let us know what you thought about it and what other videos we should react to down below. Josh.